Hello, hello, uh, uh, Punk Rockin' here again, and this time I'm going to show you how to install different emulators on your RetroPie. Emulator systems, same thing. When you initially set up the RetroPie, there are a ton of different emulators already available to you. They're already installed, and when you add ROMs to your RetroPie, you will see the folders for those emulators when you go uh, add games. Don't see a folder for the emulator you want. All we need to do to fix that is install the correct emulator. Now, quick note on this uh, before we get started. There are a lot of additional emulators that require no additional setup. You just install the emulator. The folder is then created in the ROMs folder on your RetroPie. And then you can just start adding ROMs. Others require you to hunt down a BIOS file. Uh, this file will be needed for that emulator to run the ROMs correctly. Um, the two main ones that I know of that need a BIOS file right off the bat are Neo Geo and uh, Sega CD. Um, I'm going to have uh, other videos up soon on how to do that. Check those out. Um, others like Wonder Swan, Virtual Boy, Neo Geo Pocket, several, other, uh, several others do not need a, a BIOS file. Now I'm not going to go through every emulator in this video, but I am going to show you how to install a couple different emulators and I'm also going to show you how to quickly find the name of the emulator that you want. It's really quick and then I'll show you how where to go in the RetroPie uh, to do that. Um, really, if you know how to install one, you know how to install them all. Um, you do everything from the same place uh, within the RetroPie. Um, all right, with all that out of the way, let's get going. Now, uh, so you can get out of here and play some video games. Okay, so uh, here we are at the TV. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, where to go to install the different emulators. I'm going to install today uh, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, and the Atari Lynx. So, first, let's go into the RetroPie configuration menu here. We're going to want to go into the RetroPie uh, setup. That is going to take us to another screen with a blue background. I've zoomed in on it here. Once on this screen, we need to go to Manage Packages, uh, which is the third option here. Next, we're going to want to go into Manage Optional Packages, uh, which is the second option on this screen. Once in Manage Optional Packages, we're going to see a list of stuff. Uh, this is the list of all the emulators you can install. Um, that are not already installed on your RetroPie. If you know the name of the emulator you want to install, then just scroll down the list and uh, go ahead and hit enter. Otherwise, the easiest way to find the name quickly is Google name of the system, RetroPie, um, and that's it. So Sega RetroPie or Nintendo RetroPie, then then click on the the GitHub link or find. Usually the first thing on Google, and boom! Uh, once you're in here, look for emulators, which is always at the top. And then highlighted in blue is the, the name of the emulator. Remember that, and then uh, look for the name on the list. So the first emulator I'm going to install is the Atari Lynx. The name of the Atari Lynx emulator is LR-Beetle-Lynx. Um, so I'm going to find that here and hit enter. That's going to take me to the next screen, and we are going to want to select Install from Source. Now, the installs um, are usually really quick, and that leads me to the next thing. So are the updates. After the initial install, we are going to want to update the emulator to make sure it's uh, fully up to date. When you get to that screen, you're going to want to select Update from Source. After the uh, update is complete, you can either exit out or install another emulator. I'm going to go ahead and go quick through the Atari Lynx, Wonder Swan, and Virtual Boy install um, and update. And then I'm going to hop over to the computer just to show the uh, folders that uh, showed up. Be right back.
All right, so all those are installed. Uh, just go ahead and exit all the way back to the main menu. Uh, there's no need, no need to reboot here. And uh, let's hop over to the uh, computer quick. All right, so just connect to your RetroPie once you're on your computer. You know, backslash, backslash, RetroPie or IP address, the name of your RetroPie. And then uh, go ahead and go into the ROMs folder. And as you can see, um, I have an Atari Lynx folder, a Virtual Boy folder, and a Wonderswan folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the games I want to play in here, and I'm going to close out. And then all I have to do after this is uh, go ahead and uh, reboot this Mo, and then uh, I can start playing games like a madman. All right, and that is really all there is to it. Um, like I said at the beginning, several of the emulators are good to go and are already set up properly. Others you may have to mess with uh, by updating them, finding the BIOS, or uh, tweaking other settings. Um, some of them are difficult to work with. Others are way easier. One last thing uh, I want to add before I go. If some reason you can't get that emulator working that you just installed, um, it may be a wise just to upgrade the RetroPie software to the next version if you haven't already. Before updating, make sure you always back up your stuff, though. You don't want to lose all that data. Um, but... Sometimes updating the RetroPie can fix one thing and uh, break 10 others. Um, you know, I've had it break an emulator, fix another one, and vice versa. Quick example, I know um, on the RetroPie version 4.1, dropping in arcade games into the FBA folder uh, didn't quite work for me. Maybe I was, I couldn't figure it out. I don't freaking know. Anyway, I updated my RetroPie. And now, for whatever reason, I drop the same games I tried on the old version, and they work. I don't have to do nothing. Uh, it's great. So maybe give that a go. But uh, thanks again for watching the video, and I hope you're still enjoying yet RetroPie out there. Until next time, take it easy, peeps.